Thank you, Microsoft, for listening to us and bringing us back to the previous version of the whiteboard. If you're here, it's probably because you've tested the new version of the whiteboard and you didn't like it. It's worse than the previous one and for some of us, totally unusable. However, if you're frustrated with it, there is good news. Stay with me for a second and I'll share them with you. At the end of September 2021, Microsoft has released a new version of its whiteboard. The intent was to offer a whiteboard that would look and work the same on all platforms. On the web, on the Windows app, on mobile and in Microsoft Teams. They even added a couple of new features like reactions or templates. So at the beginning, I made a good review about it. But then I started using it for real. And as many of you, I found many, many issues with it. So I made another video where I shared that the whiteboard is actually bad. And in a couple of days, I received so many comments. I hate the new update. It's worse and it crashes. It lags. It's infuriating. I have to switch to another platform. It's impossible to work with it. It's very slow and useless for teaching. And even more, the new version is a disaster. Just to name a few of the comments. The feedback is so negative that a countless number of users asked to revert back to the previous version. So it was impossible for all the complaints to go unnoticed to the Microsoft Whiteboard team. So they started replying, first reassuring that there will be very soon fixes and new features rolled out. This was posted by the Whiteboard head of product and by a PM in two comments to my video. And it was also confirmed by their Twitter accounts. So all good? Well, kind of. What you have to know is that the rollback is already effective or is about to happen for you. But this is only applicable to the Windows Whiteboard app, whereas the new version will remain in place for Teams, Web and Mobile. It's clear that Microsoft screwed up this time, but I appreciate the fact that they listened to the community and they recognized their mistake. They will for sure fix the new Whiteboard and make it a great tool. But what is the price they will pay for what happened? If you want your voice to be heard, I've launched a poll in my YouTube community, where I'm asking you whether you will keep using the Microsoft Whiteboard or will switch to a different platform. Speaking of which, if you want to learn more about other state-of-the-art Whiteboards, watch this video here.